Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through uh, linear interpolation and how to derive the equation for linear interpolation. Uh, this is a useful equation to use when you have values of data at discrete data points uh, and you'd like to interpolate between the two to get a value at an unknown point where the data wasn't taken. So for instance, if you have uh, properties at certain temperatures and you want to get the property at a temperature that you didn't actually measure or there's not data for, you can linear interpolate to get that temperature. So to start out, we have just two points in this xy plane. This is point one, this is point two, so point one in green, point two in blue. And point one has x coordinate x1, y coordinate y1, point two has x coordinate x2, y coordinate y2. And the problem is, what happens if I want to get a data point, the value of y, at some x location? x in red. And so the way that we can do that is to linearly interpolate between these two data points. So I'm going to draw a straight line between the two known data points. And we're going to assume that we know x. So for instance, let's just say we have property, we have a, a density of some material at a temperature here and a temperature here. And now I say, okay, well, I want the, the density at this temperature here. So what this means is we can draw the point on this line between the two points and this will be the resulting y value and we can get this y value from what I'll show you next based off of knowing these two and then this is your input and then these two y points as well so for a straight line we know that the slope of the straight line is the change in y over the change in x or you can call that the rise over the run and in this case for the blue and green points it is y2 minus y1 that's a change in the y direction x2 minus x1 is a change in the x direction and along this line since it's linear we know that there's a constant slope which means that for this point here the slope between this red point and the green point has to be the same as the slope between the blue point and the green point so that's what this is showing here is that we start out with the original slope from before and we can just say it's equal to the slope between the red and the green so that's going to be y minus y1 over x minus x1 and I can drop this uh, perpendicular down there okay and just rearranging this right the only unknown that we have right now is y because we're saying oh I want it at a certain x value and so if we rearrange this by just multiplying the denominator over to the other side we get y minus y1 is equal to this thing times the denominator here and we're just solving for y the only uh, unknown and we solve for y and we get this equation here which makes sense because we are essentially saying there's we're gonna start at this y1 we're trying to get to this y position we're gonna start at this initial y and we say how far do we need to go in the vertical direction to get to the new y and that depends on the slope and how far you went so this term here is the slope of this line and then from that slope if we multiply it by this x minus x1 that's this distance here we will be able to get to the new y location now we can do a quick example. This one's straight out of the thermodynamics book that I have from the property tables uh, for temperature. Uh, this is for air, temperature, and uh, specific heat at constant pressure. And so the knowns that we have in the book, they're given at 250 and 300 Kelvin. And so at 250 Kelvin, we know that the specific heat at constant pressure is 1,003 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And at 300, it's 1,005 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And so here's the equation written again. So you can see that this is our known known point two, known point one. We're trying to find, I'll try, try to find both of these, 275 and 280. And so I've relabeled here, this is still the x-axis, but it's temperature now, y-axis is the specific heat. You can see our two known points, and we're trying to find the uh, specific heat value at this uh, temperature. And so for 275, you would imagine that if it were halfway between, so 275 is halfway between these two, when you plug in all these values that I've done already, you can get the value and it'll end up being halfway between uh, the CP. So you end up getting 1,004 for uh, joules per kilogram Kelvin for this value. Now let's say we wanted it at 280, which will be somewhere around here, right here. And so this is at 280, and we can again plug the values in here, and you end up getting a value of 1,004.2. 
which makes sense because you're a little bit farther up on this line. Your delta, your T minus T1 is a little bit higher. It's 30 now instead of uh, 25. So you end up getting a little bit of a higher value here. So that's how you can use linear interpolation uh, in your everyday life. And so if you stay tuned for the next video, uh, I will go through how to program in a linear interpolation program into your calculator so that you will only have to input this, 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 and then the value that you want, and it'll solve this equation for you and spit out the uh, value that you're looking for. Thanks for watching.